I'm sharing my PPT just within two minutes. So today's topic of discussion is classification and external morphology of cockroach. We all are uh, so much habitual to the cockroach because it is seen in our home and we are so much familiar with it. The classification of cockroach is like kingdom animalia because it is the animal like uh, sub kingdom metazoa, multicellular eukaryotes, group non chordates because non chord notochord is absent, phylum arthropoda. Uh, it is triploblastic animal uh, because it is triploblastic animal. We know that in embryonic stages, uh, the three uh, layers are present, outer ectoderm, inner endoderm, and middle mesoderm. And it is metamerically segmented. It has metamerically segmented body with jointed appendage, appendages. It is the characteristic of arthropoda. Uh, metameric segmentation means the segment, each of the segment uh, is coincide externally as well as internally. So this is called as metamerically segmented animal. And the class insecta, from the childhood, we are uh, studying that the insect has three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. In addition to it, there are a presence of compound eyes and the body divisions are three, head, thorax, and abdomen. Order blattodi, uh, mandibulic type of mouth parts are present. Actually, the uh, in the arthropods, there are various types of mouth parts. In cockroach, the, in mouth parts, the mandibulate has a major role. And so it is called as mandibulate type of mouth parts. We are going to study it afterwards. Family blattidae, simple metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is incomplete because in whole, uh, in complete metamorphosis, there are four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. In cockroach, the larval, from the larval forms, the adult-like miniatures are coming out, and those are called as nymph. So egg, nymph, and adult, only three stages are present in the metamorphosis. No larval and pupa stage seen in this uh, animal and hence it is in complete metamorphosis uh, and simple metamorphosis. Genus is Periplaneta and species is Americana. Now you may have the question that why it is Americana? Actually, though it is familiar to all the Indians, but this cockroach uh, came from uh, America and it is the American cockroach. Uh, once upon a time, uh, since in uh, England, uh, England uh, in before uh, independence, uh, wheat comes from uh, America, and once upon and with that wheat, these cockroach come in India, and in India the warm environment uh, that is uh, cockroach living environment in India. And because of this, the cockroach get multiplied and they leave as an Indian now with us. So this is Periplaneta Americana. It is the American cockroach, but the Indian cockroach is Blatta orientalis. Its name is Blatta orientalis. It is uh, smaller and broader than Periplaneta Americana and it is darker in color also. Then the next is uh, external morphology of cockroach. The color of cockroach is shining reddish brown. Its shape is narrow, elongated, bilaterally symmetrical, and dorsoventrally flattened body. The adult is three to four centimeter in length, and it is two centimeter in width. The segmentation, there are three major segments of the body, uh, known as head, thorax, and abdomen. The exoskeleton is in the form of a uh, thick, grassy, chitinous, colored, hard and jointed cuticle. The exoskeleton is in the form of a ring containing four hardened plates called as sclerites. 
this ring is formed of sclerites so there are four sclerites on dorsal side it is called as sternum on ventral side it is called as sternum and on lateral sides they are pleurites or pleura cuticle uh, it gives cuticle gives protection from the loss of water and provides rigidity and points of attachment to the body muscles uh, see these are the this these are the features of cockroach and uh, the cockroach has different parts we are going to study it uh, the three main parts that is head thorax and abdomen it is again subdivided into so many parts and appendages first of all we are going to study the head the head of cockroach is having hypogonadal position see the head of cockroach it is perpendicular to the length of the body or axis of the body it is perpendicular to the long axis of the body and hence the mouth is towards downward side so it is in hypo position gnatha means jaws or mouth so it is in hypo position hypo means lower position so this position of head which uh, the which is perpendicular to the long axis of the body is called as hypogonadal position and to the head there are so many appendages attached so first of all head is hypogonadal in position small broader than long formed of several sclerites such as ap cranium ap means above cranium means brain region the upper portion or protective region of the brain it is called as cranium so it is ap cranium ap means above above the uh, brain region so these sclerites there are several sclerites uh, by with the help of fusion of these sclerites the head is formed that is ap cranium frons clypeus and gyni head contain appendages namely compound eyes antennae and mouth parts so compound eyes compound eyes are two large sessile and kidney or bean shaped they are present on dorso lateral position and made up of several visual units called as omatidia and each omatidia form its separate image and the cockroach can view the collective image of all these images formed by omatidia and hence the vision is called as mosaic vision then antennae first pair of appendages that is antennae many jointed and filiform attached in front of eyes mouth parts these these are composed of labrum mandibles maxillae labium and hypopharynx head is connected to the thorax by a short slender neck and cervix now we are going to study each of these appendages one by one so first of all mouth parts uh as i told you that the, that the position of head is hypogonadal so these mouth parts are hanging they are in hanging position and attached to the head region ventrally the opening uh, an opening called as mouth is present on the head that remains surrounded by the mouth parts so head is on the ventral position and it is surrounded by mouth parts there are five types of mouth parts or five parts uh, are present in around the mouth uh, that is lab one is labrum paired mandibles paired maxillae a fused labium and the hypopharynx the mouth parts of cockroach are of biting and chewing type the main role in biting and chewing is of biting is of mandibles 
so the main role in mouth parts is of mandibles so they are also called as mandibulate type of mouth parts functions of mouth parts first one that is labrum it is broad somewhat rectangular flattened terminal sclerite uh, and it is it forms the dorsal side of the head capsule it is movable it is movably articulated uh, with clypeus and as it is on the dorsal side it is also known as upper lip it forms the upper boundary or you can say anterior boundary or uh, dorsal boundary of this mouth parts so it is also called as upper lip it has ap pharynx it means that it has chemoreceptors that test the chemical nature of food uh, on its inner side and also called as and as it is also called as upper lip uh, then mandibles mandibles are thick hard triangular appendages these are present beneath the labrum on lateral side of the mouth which bears pointed teeth like processes called as denticles on its inner side and they are operated with the help of adductor and abductor muscles the movements of these mandibles uh, is possible because of these muscles and because of this the cutting of food takes place in cockroach then third type of mouth parts it is maxillary it is located on each side of the mouth and just next to the mandibles for cutting and chewing they also bear the olfactory receptors responsible for sense of smell labium it is also called a second maxillary because the maxillary are said to be the first pair of maxillary so labium is said to be the second pair of maxillary and a uh, second pair of maxillary get fused with each other and together we form a single large structure uh, which forms the ventral side of the mouth uh, and hence it is called as lower lip or labium it bears tactile and gustatory sensory city tactile means sen responsible for sense of touch while gustatory are responsible for sense of taste uh, then hypopharynx hypopharynx is small cylindrical mouth part a uh, sand uh, sandwiched between first maxillary and covered by labrum and labium on dorsal and ventral sides respectively uh, so uh, it bears several sensory city on its free end and the opening of salivary duct up, uh, at its base hypopharynx is like a tongue it is like a tongue present in the middle of all these uh, mouth parts so in mouth parts we have seen that the labrum forms the dorsal boundary this uh, labium forms the lower boundary and maxillary and mandible uh, mandibles form the lateral boundary of the mouth parts then next antennae cockroaches have paired antennae that help them to pick up smell and vibration so they are responsible for uh, olfaction as well as they pick up the vibrations from the ground from where where they are uh, wandering each antenna of adult cockroach is as long as its body length and consists of approximately 140 segments the first segment is called as cape and the distal segment the second segment is called as pedicel and after pedicel a large v like flagellum arises the flagellum has many segments the very first segment of the flagellum is called as post pedicel and i will give reference of this afterwards also um, so the first segment of antenna is cape second segment is pedicel and a large uh, long v like mini segmented flagellum arise from this the very first segment of the flagellum is called as post pedicel each segment is connected to the neighboring segment by a flexible joints 
However, only the head scape and scape pedicel joints, can, they can move actively with muscle contractions, while other joints connecting the flagellar segments are uh, deflected only passively. On the surface or beneath the cuticle of the antenna, there are numerous sensory units called as sensilum. And some type of sensilla serve as mechanoreceptors that mediate the tactile sense, sense of touch. Uh, this is all about antennae and the compound. Now the compound eyes. The compound eyes are situated at the dorsal surface of the head or dorsolateral rather. They are present dorsolaterally. Each eye consists of about 2000 hexagonal facets like an omatidia. Singular is omatidium. So with the help of several omatidia, the cockroach can receive several images of an object. As I already told you, uh, they can't see uh, the whole image as like in us. But as much as the omatidia are there, each of the omatidia makes its own image. And all these images togetherly form a long, a large image that can be viewed by the cockroach. And uh, such type of vision is called as mosaic vision with more sensitivity but less resolution being common during night. And hence these animals are nocturnal. As it, these animals are nocturnal, they are having nocturnal vision because during night only, uh, these are more sensitive. Then the next part of the body is thorax. Thorax is composed of three segments, prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax. It consists of two pairs of wings, four wings and hind wings. Four wings are originated from the, originate from the tergum of the mesothorax and are called as anterior wings, or you can also uh, call it as Tegmina. They are flightless, dark, opaque, leathery. And as they are not useful for flight, they are protective in function. Their function is to protect the body because they are spreaded all over the body and they overlap one on each and thus cover the whole body. Then uh, hind wings. Hind wings originate from the tergum of the metaphorax. Hind wings are thin, membranous, and used in flight. So they are useful in flight. Then uh, thorax has spiracles. Two pairs of spiracles present in the thorax, and each pair is present in mesothoracic and metathoracic segments. Then walking legs. Walking legs, there are three pairs of walking legs and each of these three is named after the region of the thorax to which it is attached. The prothoracic legs attached to the prothoracic segment and they are closest to the cockroach's head. Uh, these are the shortest legs and they act like bricks when the cockroach runs. The middle legs are mesothoracic legs. They move back and forth to either speed the cockroach up or slow down. The very long metathoracic legs are cockroach's back legs or hind legs. They move the cockroach forward. These three pairs of legs are structurally similar but different in their uh, length uh, and functions also but they have the very similar structure and move the same way the walking legs as i told you that all the three walking legs are having same structure only the length and functions are vary uh, each leg is five segmented made up of oxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, tarsus, claws, and pulvillus. The upper portion of the leg is called as very first portion, that is oxa, see in the diagram, uh, attaches the leg to the thorax. 
coxa is attached to the thoracic region the other parts of the leg approximate parts uh, of a human leg a trochanter acts like a knee and the let's other parts of the cockroach uh, and let the uh, cockroach bend in leg the cockroach can bend its leg in trochanter then the femur and tibia it resembles thigh and shin bones the segmented tarsus it has five segments tarsus uh, acts like an ankle and foot the hook like tarsus also helps cockroaches to climb walls and walk upside down on ceilings uh, the tarsus is made up of five joints called as tarsomeres then abdomen abdomen is 10 segmented in both the sexes 10th tergum bear bears a pair of ventrolateral many jointed anal cerci but in males in addition to anal cerci there is a pair of unjointed anal styles on the ninth sternal plate uh so anal cerci as well as anal styles both uh, both are present in male uh, there are eight pairs of spiracles or stigmata a pair each on soft cuticle of terga and sterna out of which two spiracles are present uh, uh, in abdomen the eight pairs of spiracles are present uh, which are one pair per segment present in the soft cuticle that is terga and sterna then the sexual dimorphism sexual dimorphism is the study of it is a phenomena to study the external characters by which the male and female can be distinguished so in male a uh, male is elongated than female while female is shorter and broader than male abdomen is uh, narrow and elongated in male while in female the abdomen is short and broad uh, in male post pedicel is longer than pedicel what is post pedicel post pedicel is the very first segment of the flagellum and it comes after pedicel so it is said to be post pedicel so post pedicel is longer than pedicel in male while post pedicel is shorter than pedicel in female uh, there are nine abdominal segments visible uh, externally in male while only seven abdominal segments are visible in female uh, as remaining segments are modified to form ovipositor and gonapophyses anal styles uh, as well as anal cerci both are present in male while well, anal styles are absent in female so only anal cerci are present in female uh, when when more addition is there in male the wings are large while in female the wings are smaller so this is all about uh, cockroach classification and its external morphology and uh, last but not the least is thank you a big thank you to everyone uh, and thank you to dr arvind chavan sir and organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to deliver my lecture uh, i am also thankful to my college Uh, college principal dr gauri rane madam who always motivate us uh, and motivates us to co-op uh, and get acquainted with new trends uh, in academic field so thank you thank you very much thank you thank you very much ma'am you have delivered a nice uh, present uh, lecture on uh, the classification and external morphology of cockroach thank you sir thank you very much i also uh, would like to say that uh, 
पेंडाळे कॉलेज पेंडाळा पेंडाळे महिला महाराष्ट्रले जळगाव ऑलमोस्ट पार्टिसिपेट अराउंड फोर्टी पर्सेंट ऑफ अवर टोटल इव्हेंट रिसोर्स पर्सन आर फ्रॉम युअर इन्स्टिट्यूट अँड Yes. I think that uh, the whole credit is goes the to your principal. Credit goes to uh, our Gaurira. principal, Madam Dr. Gauri Rani, Madam. She always encourages yes. for all these new uh, trends in our academic life. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you. If the participant okay. have any questions, uh, the query on this topic, uh, they can ask, uh, Ma'am. The query. I will unmute all the participants, or they can unmute this. If anyone have. question they can ask just we have one minute to ask i think that uh, the topic is all clear and uh, if you have uh, any question in future or you want to uh, assess uh, this lecture you can visit our official uh, youtube channel dbc media center we will also send the link of dbc media center to over your whatsapp group and uh, telegram group where you can uh, Uh, subscribe this channel for the future event as well as the past uh, lecture those already been uh, whole uh, already been held in this countrywide classroom teaching program you can access there uh, now i request my colleague dr jayawardhan malkandi sir uh, to propose vote of thanks for this session dr jayawardhan malkandi sir session is over to you uh, thank you sir uh firstly i uh, really congratulate to dr manisha patil ma'am for giving uh, such an excellent lecture on uh, external morphology sorry uh, on classification and external morphology of cockroach it is a uh, preliminary to americana uh before i want to uh, say thank to her uh, ma'am uh, i'm uh, in 2014 i was there in your college uh, in bendale college in jalgaon for one interview Uh, but uh, i am not a interviewer my colleague uh, he is joined to birla college uh, kalyan he is uh, he, he was the interviewer for the particular post in zoology uh, so i am really happy to see you again uh, i was a student at that time a research student and i i have seen you uh, in your department uh, now today there is a very big chance to me to interact with you in a such a very good platform and from our behalf of our department uh, department of zoology behalf of our iqc and our faculty of science i really thankful to uh, bendaya mahila college jalgaon uh, it is a very good institute i really uh, admire that i was there for whole day so i coming to the my main work that is the today's vote of thank uh, ma'am has uh, delivered uh, or uh, explain uh, all 